How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here at Createx Colors. Going to tell you about a really cool color today, mix called Anodized Black. Anodized Black is a mixture of black candy, Quicksilver Chrome, and the 4040. Going to show you how to mix it up and how to spray it and how cool it looks. All right, so we're going to mix up these colors. We're going to do first one part black candy. The cool thing about this color, this is one of the colors used on the Microsoft Surface Pro, which has a really cool look. It's got that, you know, kind of like a black chrome but matte finish feel to it. Just really, really cool looking. So now we got one part black candy, one part quicksilver chrome, one part 4040. You know, we're gonna get this all mixed up. Show you how to spray this thing out. All right, now we're gonna paint this. And we were originally gonna do one of these uh, color check cards here. But we decided to go with a black sealer on the card because you get a better surface tension. And when you're laying out the Quicksilver Chrome in this fine mist, it just really lays out nicer on something that's been sealed. So a sealer or even a base color just gives it an extra surface tension as opposed to a sanded surface or a color check card. And the key here is nice light coats. You just let it flash off and it flashes off pretty quick. And on anodized stuff, I like personally the cross coat and just get a nice atomization. And it'll be a really cool color. Once I get the first few coats on that are medium wet, I can go a little wetter on the final coats and let it start to come to color. All right, since I already have paint in the gun left over, I want to see what the anodized black looks like over a silver. Try a different tone, just see what I get. Maybe I like it better, maybe I don't like it at all. Paint's already in the gun, might as well utilize it and see what we get. Again, light coats. Especially that first pass. And now you're seeing that kind of, almost like a blue-black shift from the candy black mixed with the chrome, which is a really cool color. Light even coats and we'll get a nice even finish. Oh, I like that. I actually think I like this color tone better. It's almost like a smoke color. We'll call this anodized smoke instead of anodized black when it's over silver. All right, hey, we're doing custom work here. We still got some leftover paint. I've done these two. I want to kick it up a notch and just see what I get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the amount of Quicksilver. So basically it would be one part black, two parts silver, one part 4040 bleed checker. So I'm just going to spike it. It's custom. We're going to see what it looks like. And just go from there. And if I really like it, then I can you know, measure it all and make it all perfect later. But this is how you come up with new stuff. You can already see that's going to be a little brighter. What I did here, I got two cards. This one's a straight black. This one's a black with 10% white added to it, so it's a little bit of a darker gray. Just again, I want to see if I get a more favorable tone, or it might not change it at all. I can already see after one pass, I'm already at that color of the first pass. So now I know I'm going to get a brighter silver. Oh, 
while that's drying, we do the gray card. My gloves are looking cool. So this one should be lighter than this one because it's a lighter card. This isn't paint by numbers, this is custom. Mess around with it, enjoy it, experiment. That's half the fun of this business, this industry, and why we do it. Don't let anyone tell you you have to do everything this way, that way, this way. Experiment. You'll never know what you come up with. Something really, really cool it usually happens. Or it doesn't. If you don't like it, throw it out. It's a card, it's a piece of paper. All right, now we have everything sprayed. So we have three different examples here. The first one here, this is the first mix, the one to one to one over a black card. Okay, so that's one part black candy, one part quicksilver, one part 40-40 bleed checker. Same mix over silver. You have basically a straight silver sealer. You can see it's a much brighter tone. And then what I did, I did the mix of four to, um, one to two to one, which is one part candy, two part silver, one part 40-40 bleed check over a black card. You can see it's a little bit brighter than the original. So just play with the different tones. And now that I've completed that, I'm gonna to top coat this with the 4051 Satin Clear and give it a satin finish and see how that looks and we'll check it out at the end. All right, there we have it. We did a few coats of 4051 Satin UVLS over the speed shape and the cards. Remember, these color cards are both based in a black sealer, and this was a silver sealer. And you'll see the different sheens and different looks we got by doing a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mix and a one-to-two-to-one -to -one mix of the Quicksilver Chrome, the Black Candy, and the 4040 Bleed Checker. Let's get a light on it. You'll see that the satin finish really gives this kind of classier tone to it. It just looks great. I actually prefer it over the uh, high gloss or even the matte. This was the one to two to one with the two parts Quicksilver. And this was the one to one to one. So you see there's a little difference in color tone. Definitely something you want to mess around with. This could be a really cool effect for under candy or different artwork on top of it. Definitely something to play around with and have some fun with. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one. See you later.